O mais importante quando a gente entra dentro de campo é procurar fazer o melhor e vencer. Até porque a gente tem que vencer para passar para as próximas fases. Ramirez said this completely calmly two days before the opening game of the 2014 World Cup between Brazil and Croatia. And there's nothing more stressful than playing a World Cup at home in Brazil. Do you see any stress on the Brazilian's face? No, not at all. Now that's what Ramirez is all about. Calm and authoritative. So how has he completely disappeared off the face of the planet? Congratulations to Drecky Boy, the first person to guess Ramirez as this week's player. It didn't take long for Ramirez to break through at the highest level. At 20 years old, he was already one of the best defensive midfielders in Brazil. In 2008, he even won the Bola de Prada trophy, which rewards the best players in the Brazilian league that season. Don't forget, that year, he scored 11 goals. What a great eye for the goal! His amazing performances took him all the way to Europe. It was in Portugal, at Benfica, where he got his first taste of European football. He was so convincing in Portugal that he only stayed one season. Because Chelsea came knocking. And it was in London where Ramirez really hit his peak. Recoveries, precise passing, goals. After a steady start, Ramirez became indispensable. In 2012, he made a precious assist and scored a crucial goal during the Champions League semi-finals against FC Barcelona. Chelsea won the most prestigious trophy in large part thanks to him. But during the 2014-2015 season, Mourinho relied on Matic and Fabregas. Goose Hiddink didn't include him in his plans either for the 2015-2016 season. It was the beginning of the end for someone who had won everything with the Blues. Acho que fico muito feliz primeiramente de de, de ter vindo para Jiangsu. And uh, acho que é importante para o jogador sempre que chega numa equipe conquistar títulos. Ramirez can say what he likes. The challenge of playing for Jiangsu Suning, which he joined in January 2016, must have been far less interesting than his $14 million a year contract. But nothing went to plan. He didn't win titles. He then drew attention for his bad behavior. A few months after arriving, he went berserk and wanted to fight a referee who gave him a red card. He was suspended for four matches. During his second season, his performances were so bad his club put him on the reserve team. His departure from London coincided with the end of the best part of his career. A return to Europe to Inter seemed like an option for a while, but it never happened. When Ramirez went to China, he was only 29 years old. A bit early for exile, don't you think? His adventure ended badly, so he returned to Brazil. He now plays for Palmeiras, but at 33 years old, it's definitely his last club. Imagine for a second that instead of going to China, he had chosen to go to another club in the Premier League. What do you think would have happened? Don't leave just yet. We're going to give you more information about the three clues. The first clue represents the country our next player comes from. The second is his position on the pitch. Finally, the third is the club where he played his best. 